Okay, this is kind of like a comparison video, but I'm not really going to do a whole lot of comparing for you. Uh, I've got one of these uh, these Atomstack A5 uh, laser etchers. Uh, I got it so I could do stuff on stainless steel. And I was looking at, you know, the, the I think, Suramark and Brilliance uh, uh, marking sprays are really expensive, so what's the alternatives? A lot of people are saying, oh, you know, they were trying stuff and using dry molly lube and saying that's something good. You could, uh, you know, use a Sharpie. Uh, and uh, the dry molly lube, I'm, I've tried it. I can't get it to do anything. I don't know how the people in the videos are getting theirs to work. Mine doesn't do anything. Now, Sharpie, I've got this big, giant, fat one, and I can make it work a little bit. Uh, this is done with a sharpie here. Um, it's it's pretty light. Pro I don't know how it shows up on this video, but it's fairly light. Uh, it it works. But then I got to thinking. I was working on my Jeep, and uh, I was redoing my exhaust, and I saw this stuff, and I thought, this stuff sprays on. It's almost like powder coat because it sprays on, but it won't really stick to your metal till you bake it on. So they want you to stick it in the oven and bake it and. Of course I didn't do that I just put it on my exhaust and then ran my Jeep and let the th let the thing get hot and bake it on just with uh, driving it around who knows if that worked I don't know however um, this laser bakes this stuff on and I thought let me give this a try so I, I tried and, and this stuff is you know um, you get it at O'Reilly's for uh, you know ten fifteen dollars a can versus your eighty or a hundred dollars whatever you pay for your other stuff i'm not comparing it to those other brands because i don't want to go buy some just to try it out now um here's here's a piece this is something that i'm, I'm doing at work here but here's some that that i put it on you, i sprayed this on and then this the rest of it will just come right back off generally i i spray a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on it and um and it just it just wipes right back off uh, except for where you've lasered it and here's uh, the end of a, of a box I just spray a little bit on there and then once I'm done this is with that um, that other marking spray and you can actually feel it on there or like with the other stuff you can't even feel it um, you can kind of see it it's, it's almost like it's baked on there um, it really does good I don't know what the other stuff does and you can probably see the I could have I didn't use real good files to to uh, make this um, but uh, I don't know anyway no one has ever talked about the uh, using a a, a, frame, a flame proof paint but uh, the guys that do the, the real comparison test I like for them to throw this into their mix because this stuff is amazing. And so this is now what I'm, this is the only thing I use. Anyway, just uh, something out there for you guys.